Duel 3. Let's rock! So, I know that I just uh, showed you a very pretty brutal uh, clip, um, but obviously, as I said before, um, it was a laggy match, so, you know, it's not like he died, but I will point out some things that he did wrong, and I'm also going to talk about how good Kai is, um, because people downplay him a lot. Not to say that he doesn't have problems, but... So, you know, he's winning neutral against me, he bandit bringers, and I finally call it out with a grab. And so this is where he stays for the entire game. So that stun edge, that charge stun edge, um, I'm pretty sure that was unpunishable as he was getting up from knockdown, so he, so he had to respect it and block. Um, here, this, uh, this might be a... I think I tried to backdash, but um, it didn't come out, and he punished me with a 2k, but he didn't get too much. Um, I'm pretty sure my 2p is gonna... Nope, he counter hits me, Bandit Bringer. Okay, he's back in the corner. He respects this. Now, if I go back a bit... Let's see. Yeah, I think he had to respect that as he was in block stun. He jumps and air dashes. Um, that was one of his big habits uh, during the match, is that he would always air dash um, in the air. He didn't really vary up his timing. Now here, I think he did vary up his timing, because he actually air dashed pretty late. But either way, um, it still wound up getting him hit by my vapor thrust. Um, IRC, I do a bad conversion. Um, if I would have found Arc, I probably could have broke the wall. However, uh, that stun uh, dipper, it actually was pretty good as it kept the wall and allowed me to do what you're going to see me do to him. So I found Arc twice. He could press buttons, and what I maybe will try and insert here is Kaya's Foundry Arc is a pretty dirty move. Uh, it requires you to call it out. And, albeit, it's not as good as Geo's flip kick, which can ignore some things, like, I'm pretty sure it can ignore 5 Ps and requires you to 6 P or something, but still, um, he could have gotten out here if he would have been mashing, but he was being pretty respectful, which that's usually how Kai's pressure, um, it usually kills people who are overly respectful and don't mash on him. So here I guess he's gonna gun flame. Kind of a weird input. Uh, he might have actually tried the 6p off of crouching block here, but still got hit. Um, and so I hit him again. Kai's normals, okay? So when Kai does a normal move and stops attacking, for the most part he's going to be safe due to how much it pushes him back um, away from the opponent. Now characters like Ramathal or Testament maybe, they could maybe try and call him out for this, but this is the safest uh, with Kai. It's like um, Sin's 5H, or whatever, I believe, um, it's only minus 4, and it's kind of like that concept where it gets you to the point where you're so minus and so far away that it is very hard to punish you, but most Kai's will do special moves and that will get them, uh, hits or something. And so, Kai's offense isn't so bad, it's just you can't always special, and you do have to be overly respectful. Counter hit 5H, I found Driar could get a bit of a conversion. If I would have done 2k, I probably could have done 6hs and comboed, but I didn't. Um, let's see, what did I do there? A little bit further. So, Foundry Arc, 2d. He could have also gotten out here, probably. Um, if his far slash wouldn't have hit me, he could have probably 
uh, 6S or at least jumped. So, whenever you're fighting Kai, when he does this charge stun edge, this is your chance to mash. Now, I'm I'm not gonna lie, it's not that big of an opening, but you have to recognize it if you want to live. I PRC, so I was actually safe there, but still, you should call it out, and he probably could have called me out. Um, dust hits, whatever, it's a reset. He tries to air dash out again, which I think that's this guy's major problem is that he just tries to air dash out of everything or tries to air dash a lot in neutral. I get gold burst and then something funny happens, close slash. I'm pretty sure that this is all true. And here's the thing, <laughs> he didn't have to die here. If we go back, sorry, a bit more. Uh, as you can see down here, he has meter. I hope that it's capturing my cursor right now, but he has meter down here. He has 200%. He could have used something to try and stop the chip, but he did not. But, it's okay. Anyway, not to pick on him. Uh, this was floor 8. I don't know if he was from floor 8, but, you know, not to pick on him. Just wanted to bring this up because... <laughs> It was a pretty funny and uh, fire match for me. Um, but yeah, Kai has some really good strengths, and he also has some weaknesses, because if you just don't do a special, you're going to be roughly safe with Kai. However, his specials, if you do not react to his specials, they will give him a ton of advantage, kind of. Uh, mainly charge stun edge, but that's all I wanted to bring up uh, at the end of this, so see ya.